yep, back out again. This time, I slipped in the van last night, had a um, late finish at work, so I just headed up north, bought myself a little cool box. Result is like, yes, yes, that's what you want, that's what's been missing. So I'm going to go um, along here, right as far as I can to the hen hole. Hopefully there'll be nobody there, but there probably will be. So I'm going to have other options. I'm going to look for places on the way, but I'm going on my bike, but it's not started well. Flipping flat tyre, that must have been off there. Uh, that must have been off last week off that road. That road was brutal. Make a, make a forest track, oh, I was hammering the, the wheels like. So I think, um, I think that's got to give it a slow puncture. It's probably got a little hole in it somewhere. It stays up for a while, but it's just, it's hard. You can't ride on it. It's not staying hard. Matron. Anyway, so I'm going to get this fixed. I'm going to chill out for a bit because it's still busy. Look how busy the car park is. It's really packed. I'm going to wait till some of these go. Get me spot. And then I'll head off. Probably about four o'clock or something like that. Not in any rush today. It'll take us about half an hour to get along there. Anyway, and that's it. So I'll crack on with this. And then we'll come back when we're off. Well, I'm off. I'm so unfit on the bike, I should have been out this week, but uh, work's just been dead busy. I'm not getting finished like six o'clock at night. Start at six in the morning, on site all day, hot, dusty, just non stop like. And then back home, we've been um, doing a bit with the van and that, trying to sort the wheels out. I don't know, really. Never really got out on the bike, should do, but you know. So we're just uh, cruising down the valley. There's a big heron up there, don't know if you can make that out. They're huge, them herons are massive, aren't they? My mum used to call them storks. <laughs> oh, look, a stork. Uh, what? <laughs> she might be right. Anyway, oh, there's a, a hidden sheep. What are you doing? Huh? You see, like, you're doing. I like the downhill bits. The downhill bits are good. So I'm in the top tonight. More paid promotion. However, this is good. I had it set up in the garden the other day and it, it's really good. I thought it was going to be, well, I didn't think it was going to be as good. I'll show you later on when I set it up what I mean. But it's, uh, it's kind of good. Packs down to nothing. I'm in a bivvy bag as well. The Alp kit bivy. So hopefully I'll get attacked by snakes. Snakes, ticks, other insects. And uh well that's about it. But you know what the worst thing that can attack is? Bloody humans. Humans. Uh look see I'm on a hill, I'm absolutely done in. I to turn this off to concentrate on not dying. Over there's the Collingwood Oaks. Lady Collingwood planted them in 1800. Little acorns, because her husband, Lord, Admiral Lord Collingwood, that was his wish. The Collingwood Oaks. All right, a lot of history there. Oh, well. We're off road now. Nearly off road. Having any problems with gears, jumping like mad. I'm gonna have to take it to the shop. 
get them sorted out. It's a nightmare. Oh, it's been hard coming along here. And there's a bright breeze. I hope I get a bit of shelter where I'm going. Because I'm only in the top. <laughs> Although I had it in the garden and it was quite solid. Oh, look there. See when you get out the breeze, it's lovely. Mind you, the breeze is quite welcome when you're pedaling along here, I'm sweating. Uh, so we're going just in the, oop, in the middle of that valley on the left there. If I can fall off. And go along here, it's a bit bumpy. <laughs> it's good though, I like it. I like a bit of off-road biking. Some four mile, four mile like. Last mile is the hard bit. I'll be pushing it shortly. Oh, so I've got here. This bit's hard going. This is all real rough. And I'm gonna go up that way there. In there. People are walking there. I hope they haven't got big packs on. I couldn't see from here. And there's a big flock of cows up there. They can stay over there. If you don't mind up there is the refuge hut or chop refuge hut this is the shill coming on there many of the time over the back of here this leads up to the, the um the chi i can't see the chimney the cheviot over the back of there or chop cairn is up there that ridge there if you want to go to or chop cairn you walk just straight line there's a path you can see that goes up and that, that ridge, that last bit there is a killer. Oh. <laughs> really, it hurts, put it that way. It's good up there though, once you get up. But this is the old famous tin shed, the love shack. Oh, I'm just having five. My back's really wet off the, off the backpack, sweating coming up here. I'm going to see how far I can pedal along here and I'll, I'll be off, like I'll be walking it. It's all right. There's no shame in walking it. I like if I went out on the bike for the next few weeks, I could probably ride it, but I've just not been out, so my legs are not good enough. My lungs aren't able. Right, so I'm gonna just have two more minutes here, and then I'm set off again. Yeah, I think I'll be I'll be pushing it quite a bit. Coming back's gonna be great though. I'll be flying tomorrow coming back. Well, I'm up so far, about 1100 feet, that I've come to this bit here. I've got to go up over there, and then I'm going to pitch there. I've put my bag up there, and I've come back for the bike. I'm going to take these, um, I'm going to take these panniers off. It's a weird flipping ton, and then I'm going to have to shoulder the bike. I can't carry that bike without weight on like their way. Oh. There must be about 20 kilos in there, like. Salt beer. <laughs> Alright, so I've got to go up there. So let's have a look. Get these off, and then we'll we'll get up there and get this done. Ooh, it's good though. Nobody here. There's the wind coming through, which is uh, I don't know. Keep the midges off, I suppose. So I can get that top up and be all right. As long as I get it solid enough, should be fine. I might dip the feet.
after that escapade I found a pitch it's not a level but it doesn't matter because I'm in a bivvy bag and that's basically where I'm going to be lying there we'll just ignore all this beer I don't know where that came from this is the shelter warm wind camping shelter ultralight sill nylon look at the size of that it weighs nout it's a trekking pole top shelter thing now you can see that um, the configurations I'm going to be using that top one tonight we can use it like that like a windbreak but I'm going to be using that top one tonight with the two trekking poles in the front and guide out and hopefully it'll get a nice shelter Ugh. I've got the Alp Kit Hunker XL Bivy Unusual bits and bobs But that, that there yeah. oh, Them panniers are heavy like Carrying them up that hill So I'm going to get that up I'm not going to film putting it up because it's a bit windy so it'll be just a mess And I hope that um, I'll just get it up and come back Show you how it sits And as if by magic There we go one wind camping shelter. One wind. And there's a lot of wind. It started raining. Just as I got it up, it started raining, so I just threw everything inside. Now it's stopped raining. It's weird. Weird weather. But this is the inside of it. It's huge. Plenty of room. Look at that some backpack. Ugh. This is this is me lying in it. It's quite big. Got a nice shelter now from the wind. Let me just get the bivy in here. Lie the bivy in there. I'm going to guide out a bit more. It comes with um, a few extra guy lines. I'd rather uh, I'll find them. A few extra guy lines. Five extra guy lines. I've got two on. Just keeping the out like that. You can hang it from a tree. There's obviously no trees, but you can pin it onto a tree. Right, you can little pockets on the inside there. Good. Oh, just out the wind, it's good, it's nice. So, I'm gonna make the bed up and just chill out, chill out and relax, because that was like six miles away, five and a half miles on that bike on that terrain anybody knows this area that last bit was hard man the last bit you meant to walk on foot is hard enough coming up on a bike is just daft but look at this place what a spot bog metal nice river if you don't like trickling water sounds that's not a good pitch but I happen to like trickling water, so I'll sleep well on that. Yeah. Surrounded by crags, craggy crags. Doesn't matter if the bike gets wet. Hopefully, give it a clean anyway. It's dusty as hell off last week. On them wheels. Good bike, right? But I think I'm going to um, change change the bike to the other one I've got a hybrid which I think will be better for this chains come off um, this is more suited to downhill mountain bike proper mountain biking the, the hybrid bike will be better for this bike packing I might change it over that's the setup there good eh let's get a beer on it eh? I've got plenty to get through so there we go, the Alpkid Hunter XL, because I'm XL, um, I've got my mat in there, the front of the rest of the mat is in there, pillows under the t-shirt, sleeping bags in, let's push that in when I get in, and then, to be fair you know, I didn't really need that, I should have just bought something to lie on, I might have to change the head round that way, but that's it. That's the crack anyway. Good. It's windy, you know. This is um 
this is getting blown about a bit. I don't know if that would make a difference to put a, a, a guy lane on there. But it's nice in there. It's windy out here. Look, look at it getting blown about. See if there was a tree there and you were hanging it from a tree, that would be nice, that would be great. That would be ideal. It's good though. It's a good design. I like the way the um, wings come round like that without any hassle. Obviously, if it rains coming from that way, well, be a different story then, isn't it? You'd have to turn it around. But it's, uh, yeah, it's good. I like it. I'm getting no sleep tonight, like. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, it is now six o'clock. It's time for Craig Charles. I've got the radio. That radio is working here in the valley. The August Digital Radio from I Daffodil. Working fine. It's picking that. It's picking Radio Six up there. No bother. I'm really impressed with that radio. Like I'm not just saying that now. Now I've done me. I've done me sales patter. I've done me sales pitch on it, and I'm still saying it's brilliant. It's good. There's no midges around because of the wind. Like so. I've got something new to test, a new thermocell type gizmo but uh, it's a waste of time tonight because there's no midges so that, that can wait. I'm going to try it out a few times before I comment on it. Um, what else? That's it really. I bought everything else. <laughs> this is where me and Stoker and Peas were up there, right, right up the top, up the hen hole. But I didn't want to go right up there because I had the bike. Obviously, there's a big waterfall you got to climb. There's no way I'd get that bike up there without a disaster. But no, I like it here. It's good. I seen this on the way down. I thought I'll come back here. And sure enough, here I am. Right, I'm going to get a beer on. Stop waffling. Craig Charles. It's raining again. Listen. So I've come in. I'm, I'm in like this far it's coming down behind us here so sorry i'm not getting wet oh, it's been lovely weather all week hasn't it and then as soon as you come camping i mean last night was amazing on the uh on the coast there in the van it was a beautiful sunny night and lovely sunset i was sat outside till about nine half nine sweating now look at us what a change the british weather is very strange it's very bizarre unpredictable this wasn't forecast it was meant to be um, a bit overcast I knew it wouldn't be sunny but wasn't expecting the rain but it's actually a bit of a baptism of fire for this tarp thing <laughs> it's alright it's holding up alright for now I come back later when I'm drowned if I get in, if I get far enough in, it's not getting us. Listen to the rain on the top though. That's my view. Yeah, it'll be alright, it'll go off, it'll stop I'm sure. Just uh, come for a little wander. The rain's off, I knew it would be. I'm just down there, down there somewhere. It's quite, it's quite blending. It blends in quite well that uh, top, like it's a good colour up here. Anyway, little plunge pool there. I'm just gonna, I'll dive in after I film. I'll do, I'll dive in head first. Do a swan dive. Probably won't though, probably won't dive in. It's freezing, just put my hand in before, it's ice cold. <laughs> Alright, so this is it. This is the hen hole. No idea why it's called that. Look at it. I don't know what's happened, the weather. <laughs> it's certainly 
really really sunny again it's shining off there wow what a place this is told you man unpredictable unpredictable yeah i'm a bit precarious here i get down oh i can't believe this weather no i'll dry the top out anyway so ooh, i'm just gonna head back down anybody wants to come anybody wants to come to the hen hole for a walk i mean you can go for miles i think this path this is where i was gonna uh yeah you've got to go up there that's where i couldn't get the bike and there's another one a bit further up it just keeps climbing it's just going up and up there's waterfalls all the way up i think the next one there's one where there's, it's hard you've got to like oh, you've got to be careful not the place to take a mountain bike Aye. but it's a nice walk you can for miles you can go for miles but you can get to the TV from that way just keep walking eventually coming up now look see how it blends in blender war blender can't remember how I got across anyway that's the the pitch there and the view over there Nice, nice. It's tea time. Guess what we're having? Yes, we're having burgers again. And I'm having bacon with them, burger sauce, cheese, brioche buns. And I'll tell you what, right? You cannot beat a nice burger on a camp. There's wasps and everything, right? I put the uh, the packet there so it'll attract the wasps. They're coming in. So I'm putting it there, so hopefully we'll go for that and stay out of here. <laughs> nice. So we've got burgers, burgers, the view, beer, your handsome hero, um, Stevie Wonder, Craig Charles, Stevie Wonder. Ah, perfect man. Oh, they, they, um, the camera's interfering with the radio, as does the head talk. Anyway, yeah, we ready. Yeah, we're gone. Oh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> oh. Bacon cheeseburger. Oh. Look. Wasp. Oh. Right. I'm just gonna get into this. I'm just going everywhere. Good evening and welcome to Andy's beer review. I don't normally do beer reviews. In fact, I never do. Well, we used to do them years ago, didn't we? But uh, now nah, everybody started doing it. But I found one. I found a um, a Brewdog one, arcade-made, coin-operated beer. What? Coin-operated beer by Brewdog. Brewed in Elon. Oh, I've got a clue. All the writings on, it's all in Chinese on the side. This is a fake. It's got to be. So I'm going to review this. So here we're going. Tap the can. Oh, that actually works. Have a bit of a sniff. It just smells like every other beer. It really does. It just smells like every other beer that you can imagine. Like brew dog. Anything. Right, so. Do that. Because that's what you do. Even though it doesn't do anything. And then have a swig. Hey. Oh. 
<laughs> strong. Ooh, eight percent. Oh, that's a bloody double IPA. It's a dipper. Christ. Eight percent, that. Oh, do you know what? Oh, that's just like. Imagine, um, imagine your mother-in-law, right? And she goes for a, a six-mile hike in the uh, in the summer, and she wears really thick wool socks. And then when she gets back, she she rinses them in water and then wrings out the socks. That's pretty much what that tastes like, but with alcohol. God, that was strong. I pretty much took my breath away that like arcade made. It's alright, it's nice, but it's strong. It's definitely strong. Double IPA dipper, we'll call them. Double dry hopped. That's why it tastes like socks. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I tell you, I recommend that if you want to get really drunk really quick. I get it. Well, hello everybody. It's me. Live and direct from the top of dreams, really. Dreams. I like it. <clears throat> I like the way I see how it it swoops around there, and there's no like crease. It's kept the water off. Them. It's been raining off flipping night, by the way. It rains, it rains came and stayed. That wasn't in the forecast. Um, but yeah, it's good. Nice and tight. It could probably do with a pinpoint there, but then you'd have to have three trekking poles. You have to pull that back, unless you could peg. Oh, like have a have a um, a guy point there and pull it out. Oh, you don't necessarily have to have a trekking pole for that. Aye, oh, but anyway, just talking rubbish. So I'm going to attempt to get in this bivy bag. I'm not going to film it because you know when you film it, right? And you've got to get back out. Well, you get back in. You get in, then you get back out. Back out. And then you've got to get in again. Just take my word for it, right? I got in it. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, it's been a good night. I went, to, I went to chat to them lads up there. They're okay. Good. I give them me. Obviously, told them who I was and how famous I am. And they said, we haven't got a clue who you are, mate. Who are you? I'm like, yeah, you know, you know. So I'll find you. I'll track you down. I'll hunt you with me special skills. I'll knock your lights out. Ah, uh, anyway, so I think I'm a little bit, uh, I had too much, like, I had too much. I've got absolutely a couple of cans left. I've got a couple of cans left. Oh, we're going to drink them all. Let's take the back of the water. Let's take the bike down, back down there. Um, that should be interesting. I'll do a, a time warp, I think, of that. And about that, that's it, really. We just get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and then pack up and set off. So. We shall see you in the morning. You know it makes sense. Right. Now then. Back out. Could it get any better than this? That's it. Hi there. Hi there. Just to... Uh, to make you aware 
Ah, oh, God, that's bright. I'm in. I'm in. I got in alright, actually. Problem is, when you've got to get out for a slash, you know. <laughs> but hey, I'm in. So we'll see you in the morning. When we'll get the coffee on, right? Good night. Uh, that's the that's the radio, by the way. That's that bloody AUKUS radio. Like, oh man, you can't see. It's it's just brilliant. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll see you later. Neat. Alright. There's them lads away there. Smile. Don't forget to watch the adverts. Subscribe and like. <laughs> right, so I just walked to seven o'clock. Can't really sleep when the sun comes up in here in the out in the open. So oh it's a weird cup of tea, a cup of coffee I mean. Be bumblebee. Come on, booze off. <laughs> I've made a coffee with one of the coffee pods. I have that, and then I'll just shove everything in the bike, in the um, bags on the bike, and carry it down to where they just disappeared. It's not just that little tricky bit there, I've got to carry it over and then ride it most of the way back. Hopefully, there's a few um, boulder fields down there, so I'll have to be careful there. The big stick on a boulder to chuck it off. But that's it. It's a mess. There is beer left. Right, right. Right. So we'll get going shortly. There we go. Behold the spot. I'm just chicken. Yeah, uh, chicken. Chicken? Them lads are up there. I don't know how they found a spot there. <laughs> but they did. So that's it. I'm away. I've just got to carry that over the ravine of death. Hopefully not fall to me doom. And then I'm away. Wee! Down the road. Right. I might come back later. Mount up and get going. It's only not even eight o'clock yet. Early, early one for me. This. Here we are then. We're back at the tin root, the tin hut. Can't speak. That was exciting. I come off once. <laughs> I came down through that valley. All the way down here, and then I had this good big hole just appeared in front of us, so straight in it, straight over the handlebars. Good one. Pity I didn't film that, eh? It's alright though, landed in the long grass, looked around, made sure nobody saw, carried on. It's bumpy, but right, see, see the, ro the rocks, the boulders stick up like that, but some of them are right up here. You've got to be careful, like. So, I'm just, oop, I'm just going to go down here now into that valley, right along for, I think it's three and a half, four mile. But the good thing is, I think there's only two bits that are uphill, mostly downhill, so it shouldn't take long to get back. Good bike packing, the future. I like that, um, that top, it was good. I'll put a link in the description for it. It's cheap enough, you know. Only about 30 odd quid, 33 pound I think it is. And you get the shelter. If I hadn't had that last night, I'd have been fed up because it was raining and it was windy. But if you like the freedom of the bivy, then one of them shelters is a good idea. Right. We'll see you on the next one. Whenever that is. As a true Scotsman once said, we'll see you on the other side. Now let's make like a tree and get out of here. What? <laughs>